Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, for this video, we're going to talk about uh, some of the new features in OBS Studio 26 on a Mac. Okay, this is not the Windows version. And I discovered some uh, mind-blowing things, so we're going to talk about that. So uh, here we are on the uh, uh, desktop here, and we're going to take a look at uh, three key features. One of them is actually a uh, virtual cam. Now, virtual cam can be downloaded and installed into OBS Studio as a plugin. It allows you to use your camera as a, uh, OBS Studio is a uh, input to, into other uh, applications such as uh, Skype, Zoom, and, and others. Now, when I downloaded the new version 26, I was excited. I wanted to see this uh, virtual cam uh, incorporated into OBS Studio for Mac, and fortunately, there is none. I looked everywhere. I couldn't find it. I looked on the web, uh, forums, and things like that. Turns out, uh, I don't think it was built into the Mac version. Primarily, when I went on to um, OBS Studio's forum site where you can download a lot of these plugins for OBS Studio, and just to show you, um, this is a plugin where you can get OBS uh, Studio Virtual Cam, and as you notice, as we zoom in here, um, the yellow box, the only supported platform is on Windows. So what that means is um, you cannot have a virtual cam for um, on a Mac, so that's a big problem that really needs to be addressed and fixed. Now, as a workaround, there is a workaround where the plug somebody uh, uh, gave a developed a plugin, which is probably experimental. I'll probably uh, do a separate video just on that. Now, as a workaround, if virtual cam is a must for you on a Mac and you want to use OBS Studio or something similar, um, you can try using uh, Streamlabs um, uh, uh, for Mac. As you see here, they do have virtual cam, which is experimental. And uh, you have to download and give permissions for your Mac to use this. Now, um, you might want to do some testing on your own to, to figure out if it works. But uh, normally what you would do, and we're going to go back here, uh, if the plugin was normally incorporated into OBS Studio, you go to Tools, you would see Virtual Cam, you would select that. Uh, you may have to restart your uh, OBS Studio, and you should also see uh, down here uh, in your controls, uh, one for your Virtual Cam to turn it on and off. Like I said, that was a... Uh, feature that I didn't re realize was never incorporated into the Mac version. So um, I'm not currently using it now. I'm not saying I'm going to use a lot in the future. So um, anyway, we're going to take a look at some of the other features. Now, one which I love uh, is the addition of a, a toolbar uh, gains access to your most uh, currently used preferences and filters and things like that. Now, simply when you go into your sources, this is the way you used to have to do it, is right click or, or uh, menu, and you select either properties or filters or something like that. Now you don't have to do it. I know it seems like, you know, kind of stupid, but it's easier just to go to the properties, and from here, you can gain access to your sources from there, or even your filters right here. We're going to leave filters open because we're going to look at some of the uh, uh, new feature which is a new uh, audio plugin, which is, um, they've had actually um, noise suppression before, but this uses an AI version, which intelligently uh, removes the noise. Now, I'm not big on noise filters simply because it tends, unless it's adjustable, because it tends to have a very uh, modulated effect. So I normally I have to dial it way down and it may not remove all the noise. And currently, I don't really need noise suppression. I don't have a, a lot of problems with that. But normally what you would do is you open up your audio filters and then we're simply going to add um, noise suppression. And we're going to add that in there just to show you. And then of course you have the old version, uh, which is, I guess, Speaks, uh, which is actually uses a lot lower CPU usage. Now the new AI version, which is uh, RN Noise, which is higher quality, it uses a lot more system resources on your computer. So keep that in mind, depending 
uh, if your computer is beefy enough or if you're doing it on this as a laptop, you might want to choose the other noise suppression um, plug-in. So those are some of the features I definitely want to try. And I didn't know the uh, obviously the big problem with, um, in fact, let me turn that audio filter off just to make sure. Because if I leave it on, it may actually make the uh, audio... Um, there you go. I don't know if that uh, affected the audio too much. Just like so. So, um, some of the great new features in, in at least version 26 for Mac. Now, virtual cam, it does need to be addressed. Hopefully, they're going to fix this. And uh, obviously, they uh, prefer on OBS Studio to do the Windows version. Simply, there's just more users than on a Mac. I'm hoping they're going to fix this virtual cam input because um, this is really a Wirecast replacement for me uh, to be able to catch up I would have to pay uh, I think almost five hundred dollars a new version just to get all these features so hopefully I can get around that either using Streamlabs or even um, OBS Studio so thanks for watching and see you guys later